So hey guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new, hey girl, my name is Lucy. Today's video is going to be a Lucy install and chit chat, you know, one of those. <laughs> I just hope you guys enjoyed these videos because I try my best you guys. I actually do try my best But today's video is actually sponsored by Ali Grace So thank you guys for you know working with your girl putting money in my pocket always Ali Grace is not new to my channel. I have worked with them. I can't even count at this point a lot of times so They sent me this beautiful hair that I currently have on I'm going to install the hair Next clip that you see I probably will be installing looking haggardy Ratchet. So before we jump right into the video, if you're not following me on Instagram, go ahead and follow me. It's in the description box and also on screen. So go ahead and follow your girl on that platform because if I'm not here, I'm usually there. Okay, so without further ado, let's just jump right into the video. I have a cold and it's making me look pale, so I look like a ghost, honestly. But anyway, we move. My voice is husky or sounds a bit weird. This is the reason why I'm, I'm actually sick, but I'm just trying to pull through. So bear with me, okay? Now, today's video, as you already seen by the title, is a juicy topic that we have to talk about. I will be installing my hair, as you guys know how I do this video. Today's video is actually sponsored by Ali Grace, so thank you guys for working with your girl, putting money in my pocket, and all that good stuff. They sent over this beautiful, luscious, kinky, curly wig. I have the 13 by 6 um, lace, then I have the length in 22. As per usual, I'm usually sticking to a 22 inch hair or 24. The lace actually came pre bleached, pre plucked. I just put a little bit of my touch on it. Let's get into the video. Let's get into the video. The topic that we're talking about today, you guys already see detachment, emotional detachment. And to be honest, the only reason why this topic is even on the table or the only reason why we're discussing about this today is because. I mean, I had a conversation with a friend like a couple days ago about how difficult it is to emotionally detach yourself from someone that you've either been in a relationship with or, you know, you had a failed talking stage with or you were in a situation ship, just basically all around when you're interacting with somebody else. I mean, Iman, let's be, let's be honest. So most people, I feel like they're embarrassed to talk about how difficult it is to detach yourself from that person. even when they have done you wrong even when it's a situation that was bad emotions are strong and we cannot ignore them even when it hurts people make people struggle in silence because they're pretty much ashamed to talk about how this person that literally hurts them or maybe like the relationship between them didn't work out and you know but you still have emotions you still have feelings which it's okay. I'm just going to tell you right now. It's okay to actually feel things even after you have stopped talking to the person, even after you know your relationship or your interaction, your communication is over. Now I'm here to talk to you about what I recommend, what I advise that you do when you're trying to emotionally detach yourself from someone. You guys know I like to use got to be for my hair. I'm gonna tell you this, right? If you're able to control your emotions, if you're able to have your emotions in check, I'm telling you in every situation in life, you'd be a very powerful person, a very powerful woman because typically like women tend to be a lot more, you know, emotional and on the softer side. Our emotions are usually, you know, all over the place, spiral and sometimes overboard it's difficult to be able to put your emotions in check like this is me speaking from the bottom of my heart being like someone who struggles a lot with controlling her emotions you know we are mature we try to advance ourselves we try to be intelligent in so many aspects of our lives when emotions creep in you just forget your home training you forget everything that you have worked hard to protect when your emotions just speaks you now that's the thing with me i have made decisions and i have walked on emotions i have done things out of just emotional spirals i have done that and at the end of the day you regret your actions that's just emotions for you and i just needed to put that out there because i needed to understand that even if i'm trying to talk to you about detachment i'm trying to also let you know that it's not going to be easy to control your emotions and detach yourself for you to revise your emotions. What that means is think with your head and not your heart. Well, it's easier said than done, if I'm being honest, because it's so easy to just open your mouth wah, and say, listen, think with your head and not your heart. You know, like, why can't you see that this is not good for you? It's so easy being 
you know the third person looking into the situation and just trying to be like okay like how are you not seeing this yeah they can't see it because emotions are involved because of immaturity previously i never looked into controlling my emotions i just acted and acted and acted listen you could love someone from a distance right you could want someone so bad but not act on it you could be in love with someone but then not be with them not want to be with them you could wish someone well from afar but then not want to physically see them and that is something that i need a lot of people to embrace and be okay with because it, it is fine to basically love someone from a distance without actually having interaction with them especially when they're bad for your mental health your heart is soft your heart is fragile your heart is you know everything sweet and nice but that is the exact reason why you're going to get hurt that's the exact reason why you're going to make dumb decisions that's the exact reason why you're going to keep going back to him that's the exact reason why you're going to keep failing relapsing you're going to keep you know repeating the same thing over and over again and i'm talking about mistake with the exact same person so what you want to do for yourself is logically sit down and ask yourself is this person good for me my interaction communication the relationship we had the talking stage that we had how did it affect me mentally there's a reason why it has ended right so that reason why it has ended is the reason why i have to pick myself up and move on my second recommendation to how you can emotionally detach yourself from that person is to explore your options <laughs> now when i say explore your options girl i don't mean get a rebound or get multiple rebounds that's not what i'm talking about i mean open yourself up to options i believe that there is no rule or there is no time frame to how fast or slow you move on from someone you move on when you're absolutely ready for it let me tell you something you might not be ready to get into a relationship but you might be ready to just entertain conversations now don't be afraid to do so entertain conversations even when you're not fully ready just test it out honestly i'm going to be honest with you because it's the same advice i would give anyone my friends myself if i'm in the situation and all that please do not use anybody's child anybody's son anybody's daughter as a rebound all i'm saying is understand that you are no longer in that past situation so open your try to open yourself up for new opportunities for somebody new to come in so explore your options girl try to look out of the picture not back at what you have left behind because looking back at what you have left behind so you really want to go back that you start to hear voices in your head those those demonic voices that keep telling you like the devil you know is the is better than the i hate that statement the devil you know is better than the angel you don't know like i hate it so much i hate that statement anyone that says that around me i just regard the person as someone who is not appreciative of life someone who is not a risk taker someone who is a scaredy cat somebody who is confused somebody who too comfortable with where where they are i see those kind of people that say those things to be honest as weak people and that's just my opinion like don't tell me you keep going back to that situation because yeah you know their demons and you know how to fight it now so therefore you'd rather stick with them than find somebody that will treat you better are you are you okay I, i've heard somebody say that before and i'm just like you must really have a low self-esteem for you to actually accept somebody treating you bad just because you think that you can't get better that is a mental problem the quicker you address it the better for you and your future that's just the truth now the third recommendation i'm going to give you on how you could emotionally detach yourself from someone is to focus on yourself i know it's a cliche thing to say to be honest all of these that i'm actually even talking about these things i feel like we know already but when that moment hits us we basically just forget because of what emotions <laughs> because you're you're emotionally frustrated at that time you're emotionally drained at that time so all these things you already knew would just be flying out of your ear out of your head get busy because trust me when you're busy it helps you process and get over the situation that 
you know you wear in get busy do something you know start a youtube channel read a book start a new tv series pick up a new skill a new hobby do something just anything if you're not that kind focus more on work at this time if you have a nine to five or have like anything that you're doing focus your energy on that thing at that time it helps start your self-care journey start your level up journey watch videos on youtube to help you grow and you know improve yourself so that you're a better person for the next person that you know will come into your life focus sis focus take yourself out start to love yourself start to change something about yourself when i mean focus on yourself i mean like start improving yourself from the, from the person that you were when you are with the person that you're trying to get over now let's talk about this right we have different stages when you're going through a breakup and a breakup is not necessarily when you were in like a long-term relationship with a person or a couple of months in a relationship with a person you don't have to be in a relationship with someone like an exclusive relationship with someone for it to be labeled labeled a breakup you could actually talk to some stop talking to someone at like you know the early stage so like the talking stage and all that and it'll still be considered like a breakup if that makes sense because you were about to start something and then it was cut short emotions are usually attached it might not be as strong as when you were in a relationship full-blown relationship with the person i mean emotions but it's still considered a breakup and for every breakup right depends on the situation not going to lie but 80 percent to 90 percent of the time the stages are similar and you have this stage where a part of you wants to fix things with the person that's again it depends on how you're called off things or how the breakup happened if it's like in a terrible situation obviously you want to be gone but then you still have emotions that you need to tackle you know you still have you know a soft spot for the person regardless of how you know the breakup went or how they treated you but most likely you would have that phase of like maybe it could work maybe you know i could fix things baby do not chase anyone do not try to fix something just because you feel like you're too hurt or your emotions are just all over the place and you just want the hurt to stop your heart's broken to the point where your chest cannot take it anymore and then you just want to feel better you want to smile again you feel like there's a missing part of you you feel like something is off you feel like something is wrong and you can make it right you just want to be happy again that's just what it is and you're making a huge mistake if you're going back thinking that okay that's going to make you whole again that's going to make you feel better again i, I always advise people to attack their emotions as it comes embrace it no matter how hard it is no matter how much it makes you uncomfortable no matter how painful it is because all the time it is painful when you're going through like a heartache or a heartbreak or anything a breakup it is very painful so i always advise that you attack it you face it no matter how difficult it is do it no matter what it takes if it takes you months if it takes you years if it takes you everything in you to be able to attack your emotions and fight it and feel things and address it my love do it because when you finally come out of that which you will and that's where i need all of you to have your ears open no matter what it is you feel no matter the strong emotions no matter the pain no matter the hurt no matter how bad it is for you at the moment you're not sleeping you're not eating you can't think you can't concentrate your life is just shattered everything is upside down you feel like your world is crashing listen it will stop it will be fine you will get over it that's just one thing my advice to you is leave it alone leave him alone leave them alone leave it alone if it's meant to be you would always find your way back to the person and it will not be you that would initiate things it would not be them that would force things or you know it would not be you trying to piece it together it will be the universe and god fixing it for you and it will happen so spontaneously it will happen so freely it will happen so effortlessly when it happens if it will happen another recommendation i'm going to give you on how to detach yourself emotionally from somebody is to manage your expectations from the beginning now i'm not telling you to 
not require some certain things from them to protect your heart to protect yourself to protect your emotions to protect your mental mental space your mental health your vibe your energy all that stuff just master the act of not expecting too much from somebody too early in as much as everything seems to be going on fine and smooth and good just always understand that you're dealing with a human being as well you are a human being dealing with another human being and nobody's perfect if you put expectations like for instance the talking stage is going to be for three months and then we're going to progress into being in like an exclusive relationship after three months and he's going to you know officially ask me to be his girlfriend and all that stuff so you're putting like timelines you get disappointed and when you get disappointed you get heartbroken because you had kind of registered it in your head by yourself that he's going to do that without him verbally saying it so manage your expectations stop expecting the most from people or from him or from someone that you're talking to when it hasn't been stated so i just basically put water on the hair i'm just going to go in with my argan oil so the final thing i'm going to talk about is letting your guard down this topic had come up when we we're talking about detachments right and someone had said oh like also don't let your guard down too early i agree and disagree with that i agree with that because it's just like oh wait it out you know take your time with it don't have expectation that's where i agree with not letting your guard down by you not like you know attaching expectations too early you know stop hoping that things are going to go the way that you want it to go like as quick let me put this adjust this i feel like i'm not in the middle yeah so don't expect things to go the way you want it to go as fast as you want it to go like with timelines that's how I, that's where i feel like okay yeah that's kind of how i could relate it a bit and agree with it do you get what i mean but not letting your guard down in terms of like not letting yourself be expressive and not letting yourself you know feel what you actually feel for that person just because you're scared of getting hurt is selfish i don't know what other opinions are out there but this is my opinion i feel like we should let people be who they want to be however they want to be there is no rule there is no manual there is no you know guide to how you should fall in love or how you should feel emotions or how you should catch feeling or how you should basically relate with someone that you meet newly and you're talking to i don't feel like you need to put that much pressure on yourself honestly if you love somebody you love them if you feel something for someone allow yourself to feel it I don't see why you need to shrink your emotions just because you're trying to like you know weigh the other person's emotions or you're not trying to be the first to fall in love or you're not trying to be the first to do this or say this or I don't believe in that because I consider that playing games and I'm a strong believer of if you see something you like something you go for it if it doesn't work out that's fine you move but trying to play games in terms of like oh i'm not going to be the first person to say i like i love him he has to tell me first or he has to show emotions first before i start to show emotions or or uh, this thing is a man's thing like a man has to do this first before me i now start i don't believe in that because that's where you know the problem starts that's where the fakeness starts that's where the trouble starts that's where the toxic energy starts to enter into your relationship because if you feel like you cannot fully express yourself just because you want them to do one thing first or you're playing that game of like if they feel like they haven't gotten you yet then they'll put more pressure then listen it is too much it is too much for a relationship let things flow however it flows somebody who takes you expressing your emotions or expressing how you feel about them as you being a softy or you being weak or you not being valuable or you not being you know worth a girlfriend or something is a good thing for you you know why because instantly that's a red flag and you should run away from that person because anyone who thinks that you being yourself expressing how you feel genuinely about them and in a good way they are now seeing it as a problem because you expressed it too early run away because love is beautiful love is amazing 
it is free it is soft it is kind it is comforting it is passionate like why wouldn't you want to express that like why wouldn't you even appreciate that when someone feels that towards you do you get what i mean so i don't think i will ever ever see the reasoning behind you know weighing things and weighing things to that extent and playing such games if you feel a way about someone if you're beginning to catch feelings if you like someone if you love someone let them know feel what you feel but feel it with maturity feel it with logical thinking i just went ahead and did my makeup just a little bit so that i could look you know presentable look nice and all of that good stuff but yeah um the hair is not fully dry but it is i think about 80 percent 90 percent dry i love texture of this hair it is soft it is silky it is beautiful i love it so much like you'll see it's so soft to touch like really really soft and i love it i'm going to leave all the links in the description box below so you can go ahead and check out the hair now that's also everything that i have for you for the video the topic that you know we were discussing earlier everything i talk about is my opinion it's my advice it's my recommendation for you guys um i definitely would love that you try you try everything that I talk about, every advice I give, every recommendation that I give. I mean, twist it to become yours, um, implement it in your life and see how it works. I can guarantee, based off of experience, that they do actually make an impact in your life, but you just have to make it your own. You have to take my experience and, you know, personalize it Put it in your situation in the way that it will fit that situation because obviously my situation is different from your situation how i process things and how i deal with things and who i deal with is very different from you know who you're dealing with and who you are as a person i definitely would keep dropping the tea on so many topics especially the ones that are difficult to have the conversations that are tough to put on the table the conversations that no one wants to talk about i don't say this enough but thank you guys so much for the love for the support i see every comment i read every comment i try to respond to as many as i can i appreciate you guys so 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 much i love you guys so 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 much you're my family you've been a part of my life at this point like all of you are with me you're definitely on this journey of mine with me and i definitely do appreciate every one of you the love the like the share the comments everything and i see a lot of you on my instagram as well i am so happy that you guys started to join me on all platforms so thank you so much so also thank you so much for watching this video thank you so much for sticking to the end if you did actually stick to the end I will definitely see you in my next one. Bye.